In the world of firearms, few guns have had such a profound and lasting impact as the AK-47, M16, and G3. Developed in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s respectively, these weapons have been used in countless conflicts and have become iconic symbols both on and off the battlefield. They represent power and military strength. From the dark jungles of Vietnam to the frozen mountain ranges of the Hindu Kush, these guns shaped the course of history. Whether it was the rugged dependability of the AK-47 or the M16's accuracy and the G3's power, these guns have been trusted by guerrilla fighters, soldiers, and criminals to get the job done. In examining each weapon, it's important to understand their history of development, their battle performance, and their current use. And when comparing them, the differences between their cost and function will illuminate how each has shaped modern warfare. Each gun has a unique and legendary story of development as they were made to address various combat problems on the battlefield. So, let's begin with the history behind each gun. Simple History presents our partner Morgan & Morgan, a 21st century law firm making it easy to submit your injury claims from the palm of your hand. I'm talking about America's largest injury law firm, modernized to allow you to use your cell phone to file your claims, upload medical records and chat with your legal team with ease. Soldiers, follow these four easy steps in the event of an injury and you'll get taken care of. 1. Make sure you're okay. 2. A police report. 3. Contact your insurance. And finally, 4. Get yourself some legal representation and you are on your way to recovery. Getting started with Morgan & Morgan is easy. In 8 clicks or less, you can submit a claim to Morgan & Morgan using the link in the description below. Or just dial pound law. That's pound 529 from your cell. If you're ever injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in 8 clicks or less without having to leave your couch. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash simple history. History The AK-47 was developed in the Soviet Union by Mikhail Kalashnikov as a weapon to defend Russia from the German invasion. A soldier himself, Mikhail was wounded in combat, and while recovering, heard countless soldiers complain of the unreliability of their rifles. Kalashnikov vowed to level the playing field for his countrymen and develop a weapon that could compete with the German guns. After a few years of development, he created the Automatic Kalashnikov Model 1947, or AK-47. It was a hybrid of the previous rifle technology innovations, taking the best features from the American M1 Garand and the German STG-44. It's chambered for a 7.62 by 39mm M43 cartridge and is a select fire rifle that combines the power of a machine gun with the accuracy and range of a rifle. With the development of the weapon, Russia was able to supply its communist allies with serious firepower during the Cold War and thwart the United States in Korea and Vietnam. The G3 was the product of Mauser engineers who worked in collaboration with a Spanish state-owned agency at the Light Weapon Development Group in Germany during the 1940s. However, after World War II, the German engineers in charge of the project were brought to French technicians at Centre d'Etudes et de Ramament de Moulouse in France, where they were supervised. From here, the rifle was completed and eventually accepted into service with the Spanish Army as the Modelo 58, using the 7.62 by 51 mm Set Me Round. It was adopted by the West German government and produced by Heckler & Koch, proving itself successful in the export market. During the Vietnam War, the United States wanted a gun that could match the AK-47 in the battlefield, needing a gun that utilized a smaller caliber and a higher velocity than the M14. The M16 was developed to be lighter, carry more ammunition, and operate reliably in harsh weather conditions. After gaining popularity among soldiers in Vietnam, the M16 became one of the most influential guns in history and ushered in a new era of lighter, higher velocity guns. To this day, the M16 is used by the United States, which is a testament to how well it's built. It's the most widely used variant of the entire M series, and is lighter and more accurate than its predecessors. Cost The cost of the AK-47, M16, and G3 guns varies depending on the specific model and where it was purchased. However, the AK-47 is consistently one of the least expensive guns, with prices ranging from $400 to $600 for a basic model, and in some remote villages even a few chickens will buy you an AK-47. 
The M16 is more expensive and can cost up to $1,200. The G3 is the most expensive of the three, with prices ranging from $2,000 to $2,500, but model prices vary greatly. One of the most important factors in determining the price of any gun is the cost of its ammunition, as the gun is useless without bullets. The AK-47 is chambered for the 7.62 by 39 mm round, which is relatively cheap and easy to find. The M16 is chambered for the 5.56 by 45 mm round, which is more expensive than the AK-47's round, but still widely available. And the G3 is chambered for the 7.62 by 51 mm round, which is more expensive than both the AK-47 and M16 rounds. In addition to the cost of the gun and ammo, buyers should also factor in the cost of accessories. Accessories such as scopes, sights, and magazines can add significant value to the cost of the gun. For example, a high-end scope for an AK-47 can cost as much as $400, so while the AK-47 is the least expensive of the three guns, it can also be outfitted with accessories far surpassing the price tag of a standard M16 or G3. This is where the AK-47 shines, as it's also the most widely available weapon, and therefore has the most aftermarket accessories. Potentially, this makes the AK-47 the most expensive gun to own. However, when looking strictly at the price of a basic model, the G3 is still the most expensive gun, but it doesn't have near the amount of available accessories as the M16 or AK-47. The M16 is more expensive than the AK-47, but still readily found and has a good selection of aftermarket accessories. Accessories and bullets can add up to the overall cost of a gun, so keeping these factors in mind will help in evaluating which gun is truly the most expensive. Performance on the battlefield, the AK-47 has proven itself countless times. Featuring a long-stroke gas piston, a rotating bolt, and a stamp receiver, this gun is an extremely reliable and rugged rifle, functioning in adverse conditions and with minimal maintenance. It's also known for its simple design and operation, which makes it easy to use and maintain for those with little mechanical experience. The AK-47 is very intuitive and capable of firing in semi-automatic and fully automatic modes, while being accurate up to 300 meters. The M16 is also a select fire rifle, but differs from the AK in its direct impingement gas system, rotating bolt, and aluminum receiver. The M16 is known for its accuracy and light weight, with a maximum effective range of 500 meters. It's also known for its relatively low recoil and high rate of fire, making it an effective weapon in close quarters combat. The M16 expands upon its versatility with its ability to switch between semi-automatic and fully automatic modes. The G3 is a select fire battle rifle that separates itself from the other two guns with a roller-delayed blowback operating system, a fixed barrel, and a stamped receiver. The G3 is a highly accurate rifle, with a maximum effective range of 600 meters. It's also known for its reliability and durability, making it a popular choice among military and law enforcement personnel. The G3 is capable of firing in semi-automatic and fully automatic modes. Overall, the AK-47 is the most reliable and rugged of the three. However, its accuracy and range are limited compared to the M16 and G3. The M16 is the most accurate of the three, with a maximum effective range of 500 meters and a relatively low recoil. The G3 is the most powerful of the three, with a maximum effective range of 600 meters and good accuracy. All three weapons are capable of firing in semi-automatic and fully automatic modes. Are they still in use today? Not surprisingly, all three guns in question are still in use today. The AK-47 is the most widely used assault rifle in the world, with over 75 million of them to have been produced since its introduction in 1949. However, the simple design of the AK means it's easy to manufacture, and some report that over 100 million AK-47s are in circulation around the world. It's used by the armed forces of over 50 countries, including Russia, China, and much of the Middle East. The M16 is also still in use by many countries, including the United States and its allies. It's the standard issue rifle of the US Armed Forces and has been since the Vietnam War. Finally, the G3 is still used by the German Army and many other countries, including Turkey, Portugal, and Greece. Shared features among each weapon remain central to defining what a good gun is and generally revolve around durability, power, and ability to be mass-manufactured. 
The AK-47 is noted for its reliability, especially in adverse conditions like dust, mud, and high temperatures. It's also considered to have a low production cost and relatively easy to use and maintain. The M16 is known for its accuracy and is capable of firing in either single shot or burst mode, making it a versatile weapon for various combat situations. Finally, the G3 is a reliable and accurate weapon that has served the German military for over 60 years. Although all three weapons have been in use for decades, they have all seen improvements with each new generation. Despite the improvements, all three guns still represent the same basic design principles. They all fire a high-velocity intermediate power cartridge, have selective fire capability, and are capable of accurate and reliable performance in a variety of conditions. As a result, all three are still in use today and are likely to remain in use for many years to come. The AK-47, M16, and G3 guns have been used in countless conflicts around the world, and their influence is still felt today. They are some of the most recognizable firearms of the modern era, and their designs have been copied in many other firearms. They have provided soldiers, guerrilla forces, and criminals alike with the tools to fight their battles and achieve their goals. Their impact on the world has been immense, and their legacy will continue to be felt for generations to come.